Hello everyone, what is happening? I'm your host Eamon Hassan and welcome back to another video here at Most Amazing Top 10. Get your popcorn out and get ready because we're about to get spooked with another urban legend video. When I think of Chile, I think of a very rich culture, an amazing landscape and incredible food. Definitely the tourist in me. But it's true, I mean I don't think about the witches and monsters and ghosts but I mean before visiting a country I guess I should. Right? And I mean, after this video, you guys definitely will as well. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel, guys, and make sure to check out Top 10 Hindi videos as well for more of the content you guys know and love. But without further ado, this is the Top 10 Chili Urban Legends. Starting us off at number 10 is the Righteous Province, which seemingly sounds a lot nicer than it actually is. Now, the Righteous Province is actually the name of an all male cult of witches located in the islands of Chiloé. Legend has it the Brew which is the name of a coven of the male witches have lived on these islands since the 1880s. Males who want to join the cult have to go through a very intense initiation process like signing a deal with the devil, killing a loved one and using their skin as a purse to carry a book of spells in and washing away their baptism for 40 days. The righteous province members can also apparently transform into any animal they want to. Their cave is guarded by a creature that no one has ever seen before called Mbuche. Mbuche used to be human but it's said that the cult mutilated him when he was one years old and so his limbs are disjointed and his head can turn a full 180 degrees. It's unclear what kind of spells the cult partakes in but after hearing about their initiation process I'm in no mood for finding out. Coming in at number 9 now is El Culebron. Now have any of you seen the movie Anaconda? Imagine Anaconda times 300 on steroids and that's exactly what the El Culebron looks like. This creature is a massive hairy snake that has sort of a calf like head. It lives in the countryside of Chile and comes out at night and eats basically anything with a pulse that it encounters. It's also been known to go to areas that have buried treasure nearby so clearly the monster has expensive taste. The legend states that anyone that's able to domesticate it will gain a lot of wealth because of it. But in order to domesticate it you have to number one find one in the wild, two pluck out its three longest hairs and then put those into a bowl of milk. From those three hairs three new snakes will be born and the strongest will eat the other two. To keep the last one alive, the owner would have to continuously sacrifice its own relatives or animals for it to eat, otherwise the owner will get no new wealth. I mean, either that or the thing kills you first. You decide. At number 8 now is La Noria, which is a ghost town in the Atacama Desert in the northern part of Chile. Back in the day, the town was a mining village known for mining and producing saltpeter, but after a synthetic alternative was invented, the industry ultimately declined, the work decreased, the workers migrated and the town basically became vacant. Because of the unbearable weather conditions which contributed to really harsh living and working conditions, there are a lot of deaths in the city. Since it became abandoned, Lenoria has been the victim of a lot of looting and the primary place for that is its cemetery. Coffins lie there exposed, showing people's remains, human bones are scattered absolutely everywhere you walk and there are even coffins in old mine shafts. The legend states that all the souls buried in the cemetery have become very angry as their graves keep getting disturbed, so what do they do? After sunset the dead rise from their grave and go into town which some people have claimed that they've actually seen. Many adrenaline junkies staying in the town overnight have cited seeing full body apparitions and hearing screams and footsteps even though the area is clearly deserted. Not one thing to do when I go to Chile, definitely not. Filling our number 7 slot is the Calchona. Now there was once a family that lived in the mountains and with their two kids and they appeared to be a very normal couple countryside family but that was not the case as it never is. The mother was actually a witch and she used to keep loads of potions and creams at home that transformed her into whatever animal she wanted if they were rubbed onto her body. So every night she used to sedate her children and her husband which by the way I feel like that's a crime but okay and then she would used to transform and go for a walk at night. By the morning she'd come back, apply the creams that would turn her back into a human and then went to sleep and no one suspected a thing. But one day she forgot to 
to date her children, and they ended up waking up in the middle of the night and seeing their mum covering herself and transforming into a sheep. So, like children, they decided to copy her. Unable to change back into humans when they got home, they started crying, which eventually woke up their dad. He figured out what was going on somehow, I have no idea how, and used the cream to transform his children back into humans, but then he decided what on earth. He left the house with his kids and threw away all his wife's creams. When the wife finally came back and discovered everything missing, she managed to salvage a bit of cream for her face, but the rest of her body remains a black sheep. When farmers in the area hear her bleating, they put out food for the Calchona because they know she's harmless and she just she was just a witch and it all went wrong. Now at number six, we have Hua Pen or the Guaya Pen. And I think the two L's are silent, correct me if I'm wrong. It could be Guala Pen, but I don't think it is. I was looking at pictures of what an artist imagined this creature to look like, and I was just shook. I feel like in a drawing, something can seem like it makes sense, but then when you imagine it as a live creature, you're just like, how in any world is that possible? Anyway, this creature is a cow like creature that haunts the rivers and lakes of Chile. It has the head of a baby calf and the body of a sheep, but that's not the worst part. Its feet are twisted backwards, and the back of its body looks sort of like a seal. Are you keeping up with the imagery here? The creature only ever appears at night, and it's said that if a pregnant woman goes near it, then her child will be born with twisted and deformed legs and a muzzle. The holopen is said to be quite a shy creature, unless you enter its aquatic habitat, then it's known to become quite vicious. It's also been reported that if a pregnant mother has dreams about the creature three nights in a row, then her baby will be born with deformities. Coming at number five is the Puechen, which is the second snake-like creature on this list. This creature lives towards the southern part of Chile and is a shape-shifting creature that can instantaneously change into whatever animal form it desires. Its most common form is described as a huge flying snake, which makes very strange and eerie whistling sounds. As I'm describing it, I'm trying to imagine how it looks into existence, but it just keeps turning out like some something that looks like a Pokemon in my head, so I'm just gonna stop right there. If any unlucky bystander accidentally makes eye contact with it, the Puechen paralyzes its victim and then sucks their blood out. A lot of times when sheep have been attacked during the night, people believe it's the Puechen sucking their blood as well. The only people said to be able to get rid of it are the Machi, which are the Mapuche medicine women, which are traditional healers or religious leaders found throughout Chile and Argentina. So basically, this thing is a part time snake, full time vampire shapeshifter. Good to know. Okay, at number four is the Trauco. Trauco? I'm gonna say Trauco. Now, the Trauco is a humanish creature that is as small as a goblin or dwarf, and it's apparently extremely ugly. Has legs but no feet, and carries around a stone headed hatchet, which makes me question how it even walks or gets around. But people say he can also appear as a rich landowner or a priest. The Chaco lives in the forest of Chiloe and it has the power to attract middle aged women and once he's chosen a woman, there is no escape for her whatsoever even if she's asleep, she'll still wake up and find her way to him. And it's a fact that if a woman does find herself chosen then she will sleep with him no matter what, so when a single girl becomes pregnant and the father is nowhere to be found, most people then just presume the Chaco is the father. But he doesn't just target women, even men are scared of him. If a man makes eye contact with him, then his gaze can be almost most deadly. I don't know if they die, if they become frozen, but I'd rather not take the chance. Filling in our number three slot is El Coco. And now if I grew up in Chile, I would probably be afraid to walk the streets at night alone because of this legend. Now El Coco isn't scary looking by any means, but it's what he does that scares people. Parents used to sing about him in rhymes and scare their children with stories of him so they'd listen more, but they weren't exactly all rooted in fiction. Frequently compared to the devil or the opposite of a guardian angel, Angel, El Coco is a kidnapper and a child eater. He roams the streets at night with a bag over his shoulder looking for naughty children to kidnap and eat. Sometimes it stays perched on rooftops just watching the streets waiting for kids. I Means sometimes he eats them immediately, sometimes he tosses them into his bag and slices them up at home and drinks their blood, and sometimes he takes them away to a place of no return. But do not worry guys, he only targets disobedient children so if you've been nice you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Why is this weirdly reminding me of a twisted version of Santa's naughty or nice list, except with a lot more death and a lot less presence. Now at number two, we have El Cuero. Now El Cuero can be found in Lake Laca, located in the Andes Mountains, but let's firstly talk about how this thing looks, because that's horrific in and of itself. El 
Aquero actually translates to leather or the hide, and it looks like a prehistoric giant stingray, or as locals describe it, as a cowhide that's been splayed out to dry. It's about two to five feet wide and 65 pounds heavy, and it has fins as well as a whip like tail. Its eyes are located on stalks like that of every cartoon slimy villain, and its mouth can apparently unhinge and extend when devouring prey. People have reported seeing razor sharp claws attach to the fringes of the creature, which helps secure its victims. Locals call it the aquatic tiger because it comes out of the lake and overwhelms its prey, and it then uses its nose to punch at the victim and then suck out that person's blood and all internal organs. One woman even said that she was washing clothes by the river and her baby was sleeping nearby, and the El Cuero burst out from the water and engulfed the baby within seconds. Who knew a cowhide could do this much damage? Finally, last but not least, at number one, we have La Fiora. I hope I pronounced that right. Who's actually Traco's, Traco's wife and daughter simultaneously? Don't ask. And is an even bigger nuisance than her husband slash father. Her name actually means very very ugly and according to the legend that is 100% accurate. She's described as a disgusting looking woman that's very harsh, who has a gigantic nose, long black hair, enormous breasts and extremely thin limbs which she can lengthen on command. She can also twist them in every direction so you can imagine what sort of contortionist she must look like if she's in the mood for it. She bathes in local streams while combing her hair with a glass comb and then remains naked for hours. She's not very brave at all by the way. If that's any consolation. Whenever she hears the slightest sound, she changes her body into really bizarre positions and directions. Maybe a defense mechanism? I don't really know. But no normal person can look at her, because if you do, then her eyes have the ability to deform your own legs or hands. She has superhuman strength, and her breath is so bad, like her eyes, it has the ability to break or twist the limbs of anyone or anything nearby. Her main hobby or pastime, because her other activities aren't bad enough, is casting spells on unsuspecting wood cutters in the forest, which then causes them to become super confused and disorientated, and then she forces the men to have sex with her. Right. And that's all for today's video guys, which one of these legends freaked you out the most? And more specifically, I want to know from all our Chilean viewers, have you guys ever seen any of these creatures? Have you heard these urban legends? Are they common? I need to know everything. Let me know everything in the comments below. As always guys, I've been your host Eamon Hassan, and I'll see you next time. Bye!